All right, we're almost there, aren't we? Uh, most of you who I've walked around to are finished. Let's give this a shot. I'm following the pattern, right? So when I look at this second row, I'm not taking away three every time as I go from right to left. What am I taking away? Two, right? And that's because I'm in the two row. So I'm gonna complete here, take away two, take away four, take away six. In my one row, I'm gonna get these numbers. But now, something weird happens here. Have a look, what's going on when I go from this to this, and this to this, and this to this? Am I still getting smaller? No. no. I'm not getting smaller, am I? Hold on. Negative three to negative two, negative two is a bigger number than this, right? And negative one is bigger than negative two. So what am I doing from right to left? Yeah. Maria. Hmm, I'm adding, right? I go add one, then add one, then add one, okay? So therefore, if I continue going this way, I'm gonna add one every time. Add one, add one, add one. This is getting pretty colorful and busy, isn't it, right? So these numbers, if I fill them in from right to left, I'm gonna have one, then two, then three. Just stop for a second and put your pens down. This is weird. I am confused. What does this mean? Like just this corner in here. What's going on here? What numbers am I multiplying, Jar? What numbers am I multiplying? Yeah, Nikhil. Negatives. I'm multiplying two negatives. How come, how come they're positive and they're getting really, really big? Why would two negatives become a positive? Yeah, yeah. Because the two negatives in front of it become positive. This is what we looked at in addition and subtraction, wasn't it? It's what we looked at in up, okay? If you're getting a negative and another negative, it's a little bit like taking away something that's heavy. The whole thing will go up, just like the house did, right? So that's why these numbers over here are positive. They're gonna keep on getting more positive. Let's fill out the whole thing, right? I'm gonna increase by two in the next row, and then I'm gonna increase by three in the bottom row, okay? So this is a bit strange. Integers are a bit weird, right? When you have a pair of numbers like this. We looked at this in the review questions, right? That's two negatives. Two negatives, right? What do I do? What picture should I have in my head when I'm doing this? We drew the picture before, right? What kind of diagram? I'm gonna use my rule line, I'm gonna draw a, a, uh, number, line. a number line, right? I'm gonna start at the zero. I'm gonna start at negative two, and I'm gonna move. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and that's where I end up. Yes, does that make sense? So when I'm adding, subtracting, I'm moving. Yes, Charlie. Yes, you may. Okay. But when I'm multiplying, when I'm multiplying, something different is happening, right? I'm filling in times tables. So here is a summary for you, okay? Let me make it a bit bigger for you. <clears throat> uh, and this I'd love you to put into your book. Um, you should stick in that sheet once it's completed. And you can jot this down, right? In summary, each of these represents a different relationship for the different kinds of numbers you're doing in your table, right? We knew. You multiply two positives together, you're gonna get another positive, right? That was simple. If you multiply a, a positive and a negative, again, this is the second corner of the table we filled out, you're gonna get a negative, right? All those numbers, all those numbers over there, they were negative, right? If you go in the other direction, a negative and a positive, you're still gonna to multiply to a negative. But the weirdest part was this last bit that we filled in in the corner. I'll just scroll up just a teeny bit. If you got two negatives, we often call this a double negative because double just means two of them, right? A double negative becomes a positive, right? Just like we saw in up. So when adding and subtracting, this is really, really important because people get confused about this quite easily, right? If you have two negatives, they get more negative. Do you see that? Because you should think about moving on a number line. But if you're multiplying, as you see tomorrow when we do division, multiply, multiplying and division, two sides of the same coin, it's different. Question? Yes, please. That'd be great. So when adding, subtracting, this is the picture in your head. Okay? But when multiplying and dividing, multiplying and dividing are about tables, right? Times tables. And there's a very different picture involved. So don't get them confused. And that's why two negatives here, they multiply to a positive, okay? 
if you have some colors that'll be really helpful so that you can really really distinguish these two things from each other uh, because they're quite close related it's easy to mix them up okay which is why I'm gonna finish here uh, and just put up the homework in a second people ask me before oh, do I have to draw a number line you know there's review questions do I have to draw a number line you don't have to but I really like doing it like I've been doing these I've been doing these for decades now, actually, right? That's how long I've been doing them. And I still do them so that I can visualize what's going on and not mix up what's going on here with this, okay? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, different kinds of ideas.